Hi everyone. Uh, so today we will be discussing about Swagger 3 and its implementation in the Spring Boot. Okay. Uh, so now I assume that you are already familiar with Swagger, what it does is and what are its advantages. So in this video we will just be discussing about how we can implement Swagger 3 in Spring Boot. Okay. Uh, so in Swagger 2 we, we used to have that two dependencies, one is Swagger and one is Swagger. Uh, UI, uh, but now in uh, Swagger 3 we don't need those two dependencies. We we just need one dependency which I'll be showing you. Okay, so from Maven repository you need to uh, include this dependency Spring Fox Boot Starter. So this is the only dependency which we need to enable Swagger in our Spring Boot application. Okay, so uh, you have the uh, declaration for maven we have the declaration for gradle so in this tutorial i will be using gradle so i am i just copy this uh, dependency in my uh, project so i'll just show you quickly i already have one project so for this video i i created a a class sample controller it has one get all it is returning the list of string and we have a post mapping so which add the list okay take the list as input parameter and add the list into the existing list okay and while the bean is initialized we are just adding one value default okay so this controller i will be using for uh, demonstrating the swagger okay so what i need to do is uh, i go to my build.gradle so if you are using pom uh, maven you can go into your pom.xml and use here Okay, so in the dependencies section, what I'll do is I'll just uh, paste the dependency of Spring Fox Boot Starter 3.0. Okay, so I'll just save it and uh, refresh the dependencies. Okay, so now the uh, this this has been included, and with this dependency, the uh, the swagger will be uh, will be included in your project. I mean, you can use the swagger. Let me show you if I just start the Spring Boot. Uh, I can access the swagger uh, let me show you localhost so now uh, this URL make a note of this URL because this URL is changed we just need to put swagger hyphen UI slash if I enter it I will get the all the details so I see lot of basic controllers home control etc right so we'll just remove it quickly but uh, the point of showing this is that uh, with just inclusion of dependency your swagger is enabled Okay, we will also be discussing uh, how we can disable Swagger for uh, UAT production or different profiles. Okay, so now uh, let's create the Swagger configuration for uh, to customize this UI. And it is very similar with the configuration what we have for uh, Swagger 2. So let me create a class, uh, let me give a name Swagger config. Okay, and what we'll do is we will just uh, mark this class as at the rate configuration and what we need to do is we need to create a docket bean so it is uh, same as of the swagger 2 so let me create public uh, docket yeah get bean and what i'll do is i'll just create a new docket new docket and its documentation type is is swagger 2 only so documentation type will remain the swagger 2 and let me do select so it's a builder so we need to do the things and then we can provide the path also so which path do we uh, uh, need to enable from swagger so I'll just give uh, this regex and slash api slash star so why it is not coming let me do one thing dot build okay so now it is coming uh, okay so now it is imported it and I will add the paths i have added select okay uh yeah so we'll we'll create one more method api info which can provide all the titles uh, related to this so we don't need to annotate it this private api info 
right so it is the uh, spring first documentation service api info get info okay so here i will uh, create a instance of api info return uh, new so we'll use api info builder to create the in its instance API info builder so dot title so now here we can describe all the stuff which we see here right so title i will give swagger tutorial or i will just put a channel name take no moment okay and description you can add swagger tutorial video tutorial video right and then we can provide the uh license also i mean it's up to you whatever the information you can want to provide you can provide no moment i'll just keep this only so you can give the contact uh, license information etc everything so i'll just create build and enter let me put enter here yeah okay so now what i'll do is i will provide the api info here api info and here i'll call call the this method api info right okay yeah so that is it so let me restart the server and and let it start okay, it's coming up so i believe we made some mistake in the configuration let's check this uh okay so we used path and regex so this need to have api dot star here okay and we can use different uh request handlers here like you can define by the base package also here okay so let me restart uh, the server it is starting okay uh yeah we see so uh, sample controller is coming up so now to give the custom name okay to this service and custom description what we used to have earlier in the spring uh, swagger 2 is if i go to swagger uh, sample controller so we have one annotation as api uh, it is from the swagger annotations so uh, it is value let's say we put it blank and then we used to have a description right so description uh what is description so you see here description is now uh deprecated right so if you use deprecated now uh, description so our sonar analysis in the enterprise application will give uh error on this right so we cannot use description anymore so what we have here is we can use tags okay uh tags and let's say i give it the name as sample tag tags is equal to sample tag okay so now the problem here is we cannot uh, define the description here right so if if i let's say define this try to define custom description here so what happen is it created us weird uh, things in the swagger ui let me show you so i restarted the server with this Uh, implementation so what happens is uh let's see okay so custom description it creating a a new service so if i expand this it also has the same methods and this also has the same method but we did not want this we wanted that sample tag is coming here and this custom description should be your description right so how we can do is so we need to create this tags carefully uh so one way is you create the tags in the swagger configuration but the problem with that uh, configuration is that every time you have a new class okay and then you have to modify your swagger configuration so instead what we uh, can do is we can we need to uh, put the tag on the class itself so how we will do is there is another uh, annotation tag uh tag so we need to use this one io.swagger.v3 annotation tags okay so if i use this then i have a name so i will define let's say my tag name which okay uh sample service 
so it is the name of custom name of the controller and then we have description here uh, service for swagger tutorial tutorials right so here does make a note of this right so whatever the name we created in the tag annotation we use need to use same in the api one okay so now if i restart my service so will you see the correct uh, and the correct ui on the swagger uh, url so let me refresh it so you see we have just sample service which was a tag name and then we have service for uh, swagger tutorial site so now if i just if we can use it right out execute so it is showing me default now i'll just quickly use the post one also so post is taking the uh, this thing a list as in request body try it out and here i will just put our channel name techno went and execute right so i get the response addition successful so now if i do the get all again i'll have default and techno and the response body so that working is uh, you guys are already aware of so i wanted to stress on this point api and the tag how we can use it and you can use the uh, annotations on the method level also so that you can do with api operation annotation let me show you that it is also available api operation and here you can provide whatever the name you want to give it right so now uh, the thing is here if you see the swagger configuration we did not put anything like enable swagger or disable swagger right so how do if we want to disable swagger in the production or uat how would we do that right so to do that we we will have a separate properties files for uh, qa uat production right so what you need to do on the on the production properties file you need to do a spring fox spring fox documentation enabled is false so all you need to do this in the in the properties file of the production uh, production property file and this will be disappeared so in that case your swagger won't be working in the production url so that is uh, all for this video if you learned something from this video hit a like and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye